Barney Bye Boy says, Hello, Chris. You would like to see a shell script that boots into Wireshark on start, automatically starts capturing packets. That should be easy. And yes, it is. Let's quickly look at the man page for Wireshark. So we'll type in man, Wireshark, this is obviously after you've installed Wireshark. And you can see there's lots of options that you can pass Wireshark at start time. So we come down here and we have one option, dash I, to tell it which interface to use. Because if you have an Ethernet plug and Wi-Fi or maybe two Wi-Fi's or two Ethernet, you need to tell it which interface we want to capture from. So that's something we need to do when we start Wireshark, if we want to start capturing off the bat. And we also have this K option, which starts the capturing session immediately. And so that is what we'll do. Now, I also want to mention that if you're going to write a shell script that's going to capture packets, you might as well use something like T Shark, TCP Dump, or my favorite, which is EtherCap or EtherCap. Uh, there's really no reason to have the GUI running when you're capturing, especially if you're running it from a script, because capturing is capturing uh, with whatever settings you have it set to capture from. Obviously Wireshark is a great tool for sorting through the information after you capture it and you can capture with the other tools and then use Wireshark for that. But since it was asked to start Wireshark uh, and automatically start capturing, we can type in Wireshark dash I and in my case I'll say ETHO because that's my wired Ethernet connection on my desktop dash K. And as long as the user you're running the script as has permission to start capturing, it automatically goes into capture mode. Now, we're not seeing anything because I'm not doing anything online right now, but let me go ahead and off screen here, I'll just ping Google. And there you go, you can see the traffic being captured. So again, if you want to capture automatically when starting Wireshark, it's just Wireshark-I and then the device you want to capture from, and then the dash K for capturing automatically on start. Uh, I hope you found this useful. It's very simple and straightforward. Man pages are very useful for finding information like this. But again, I recommend T Shark, TCP Dump, or my favorite, EaterCap for capturing from the shell. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. If you uh, feel like becoming a supporter because you like my videos, check out patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There should be a link to that in the description. And if you can't support financially, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Those things are useful. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.